Hello friends, in my previous video, I have discussed in detail about how you can generate the sound in MATLAB using sign signal or different signal that may be exponential signal or amplitude modulated signal, lots of things. Okay, you can play with that. So just have a quick recap. What we have done, we have taken our sampling frequency as 22,400 and you know in between two successive samples, what is the time gap? That is called sampling time. So inverse of sampling time is sampling frequency or we can see inverse of sampling frequency is sampling time. So if our sampling frequency is this one, then in this particular case for the time sample definition, between two successive time samples, the gap should be equal to the sampling time that is inverse of sampling frequency so that I have taken here the in, uh, the gap as 1 by 22,400 and 0 to 2 I want to get the sound and x equal to sine 2 pi 500 t that is 500 hertz sine signal and sound x comma fs. Let us just listen to the sound once. So this is what we have done in our previous video. Now suppose our this particular frequency is varying frequency. This is widely used uh, signal if our see, frequency is varying that is called chirp or chirp signal. So how we can generate that in MATLAB that's what I am going to discuss in my this particular video. What I have done I have written a very simple code after modifying that particular code only. What I am doing first, I am defining sampling frequency as 8000. You can choose according to your need. T equal to 0 to 4 with 1 by fs. As I have told you, that sampling time is 1 by sampling frequency, so incrementation is 1 by fs. Then my base signal frequency I have chosen as 400. And what I will do, I will start from 0 and slowly by slowly I will increment my frequency as we go higher. Okay, as we move. From 0 to 4 time our frequency also should increase so what we can do simple one algorithm we can implement if i equal to one empty matrix i have defined here temp equal to 0 this particular variable will increment and will store in fi so this will be our incremental frequency so for i equal to one colon length of t that is for the same uh, uh, for all the time we will generate frequency and the frequency will keep on increasing so if i equal to if i temp so first zero frequency will be added and then temp equal to temp plus some multiplication factor which is very very small multiplied by f so in the next iteration what will happen temp will be incremented by 0 0.000025 into f next iteration temp will be further incremented by this particular value only like that the frequency will keep on increasing and that will be stored in the fi so in fi our frequency is stored so now what we can do simple y is equal to sine 2 pi ft but here just bit modification is here t is one array and fi that is frequency is also one array so when you are multiplying two arrays you have to give dot star that only modification then plot y sound y comma fs okay listen to this very carefully you can clearly after listening itself you can clearly understand that okay frequencies keep on increasing with time just listen this music carefully i am doing evaluate selection so see from the plot also i hope you can see here initially frequency is less and uh, eventually frequency goes higher and from the uh, sound also we observe that the frequency is increasing so this is what about chirp signal this is all for my this video like this you can play with matlab there are different different sound using this okay this is all for my this video thank you for watching